Picture the following scenario. You are in a situation that really, really counts for you. Like you're in a high pressure situation and what usually happens? Like it starts getting warmer, right? You start to sweat maybe your armpits or your, your hands get a bit sweaty. Um, your brain usually or often shuts down. You don't know what to say anymore. You don't know how to act and how to behave. You don't know how to sit, to be cool, whatever, or to be smooth. And you do not know how to perform in a high pressure situation. My name is Dennis and the idea of this video came today because I was in a high pressure situation for many people. I was in a sales call um, with a Swiss entrepreneur and it was like the decision call, right? So yay or nay if he was give us a confirmation or if he would decline the offer. And here are three things that you could do when you are under pressure or in a high pressure situation to relax yourself a bit and to perform better. So the first thing I want to um, share with you here is that pressure is the anxiety to not perform. Right? We are afraid that we will not perform and this is putting pressure on ourselves. And this always comes because we have an outcome in mind. Right? We want a certain goal, we have a desired outcome which pressures us. Right? We, we have to achieve this. This must be, for example, in a sales call, this must be a close, I must earn money, I must close him. And paradoxically, this having the outcome puts pressure on ourselves and leads to the outcome being very even more unlikely. Right? Because we have this pressure, it is more likely that we will not perform. And there's a very simple solution for this, and this is called acceptance. We are accept accepting of all outcomes. We are accepting of everything that will happen. Both as equally as fine for us. Because this immediately takes off the pressure. Why? Because it takes away the outcome. And if there's no outcome, there's no pressure to perform. Right? And if there's no pressure to perform, we usually tend to perform better. And this is usually easier when we are already coming from a like a state of abundance, right? For example, in the sales, uh, in the sales example, if I win a new new client for the for the business, right? This is great. If I will not win this client for my business, also great. There will be more clients following. This will take the pressure off, and it will again it will lead to me performing better. So this is the first thing what you can do to perform better under pressure is simply take the pressure off of you through accepting all outcomes. The second thing is has to do with stress, right? And stress always comes uh, from our attitude, our internal attitude towards the thing that is stressing us. I made a video about this, about stress. Maybe I will put like an info box thing here. I don't know how to call this, but one or two sentences quickly, the, the essence, key essence of the video so you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. One thing can pressure us in one, in one moment and the exact same thing can not pressure us and energize us in another moment. Loud music can really energize us if we are, for example, in a club, if you're in a, in a party mode. And at the same time, loud, ener loud music can take energy away from us, can stress us if you're, for example, coming home from like work. We had a hard day of work, we just want to relax, maybe it's night, we want to sleep. Music, loud music, not, doesn't let us sleep, so it's stressing us out. Right. So this literally means, this is what I got from Dr. David Hawkins, that stress means resisting what we do not want and not stress means receiving or getting what we want. Basically, the stress is internal, so and it's depending on the attitude that we have towards the stress. This means that we can switch the stress of the, the, the thing from stressing us to energizing us simply th by switching our attitude towards it, right? And the easiest thing, this is also what Dr. David Hawkins said in um, one of his videos, what I refer to in my videos, is through humor, right? Because humor usually calories high and is switching something to a positive something to a positive attitude. For example, we love about how stressed we are um, just because the client is so hard. Oh, we love about ourselves, we, th we think it's hilarious that we are a bit afraid of the Swiss entrepreneur. We are afraid to talk to him. How hilarious is that? How funny is that? This usually also takes the pressure off because it switches the attitude towards the stress and uh, we're not that stressed anymore. All right, and the people are closing here, so I'm a bit, bit stressed right now, so let me come to point number three. So the last point is simply to take a deep breath, deep breath, and then just do it. You can, for example, take off uh, the pressure through accepting all outcomes. You can switch your attitude to something funny, but at some point it's like, okay, maybe the last bit of stress is still there. And then it's like, okay, then just do it. And with the time, with the routine, when you do things over and over and over again, usually you develop a competence in this thing. And th with competence comes confidence and you become more confident um, over the times. Um, and then the stress will also be gone. You know this, for example, when you're not as competent in some area because you're new in this, you're a bit more stressed, again, because there's this pressure to perform and the more you did something, you know you will perform or you know nothing bad will happen. This comes with the experience, so there's, to some degree, it's just like, okay, take a deep breath and then do it anyway. And uh, I think you will have great results. I hope you will have great results from those three tips. And now there's someone coming, will you just kick us out? 
or will he be friendly? No, he's not kicking us out. So I have time for the quick outro. I appreciate that you watched um, until the end. For everybody who is new to this channel, my name is Dennis and I'm building my business in sales right now because yeah, my goal is to live free and to travel the world. Right now we are in a co-working space in Medellin, Medellin, Colombia. And uh, yes, the, the goal or the purpose of this channel is to document my journey and to share my learnings that I make on this journey, my ups, my downs, um, and also the learnings. Um, so if this is interesting, consider subscribing. And we might see each other with some new learnings. Uh, with less stress in the next video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Buenas tardes.